Hey guys, it's Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. I am here to continue the How to Start a Print on Demand series. If you have been tuning in to my challenge for the past couple of months, you've seen me create different uh, series each month. So the next couple of months, we do have a few more videos in the How to Start a Print on Demand series. And I wanted to make sure that I provided an extra resource to you guys. So if you click down in the description box, you will get a free print on demand checklist. That's right. It is absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Make sure you click the link in my description box, put a zero in the box where it acts as uh, for price. If you would like to leave a tip, I love $5 tips. So go ahead and put a five in that box and then you go ahead and check out. Okay. Also, I added more links in the description box for more freebies that you can um, grab that's on my Gumroad. And if you just want to grab a different course, remember you can always check out my Gumroad courses at www.gumroad.com backslash Cinquanta Cogsmith. How to start a print on demand business. We will be talking about Zazzle. So for me, I normally use Zazzle for some pins. Um, I have used it for packings, uh, business cards. I've used it for a journal and probably like a blanket and some other things. But today I am going to show you guys how to set up your Zazzle store and how to sign up. And this may be three videos. It just depends on how long it is. But I also wanted to just show you guys like the shirt, the journal, the mug. Um, cards and buttons and stuff like that and it is like a little process to actually set up your Zazzle store. Um, Zazzle has been one of the sites that have been a little bit harder for me to navigate but I have made money on to Zazzle. So the first thing you want to do is go to sign in um, and that's where you will create an account with Zazzle okay. So I am not a member this is a brand new page remember so we're going to hit register. And we're going to sign ourselves up for Zazzle, okay? So to create your account, you're going to put in your email. Or we can connect with Google. Yeah, let's do that. So it popped up for us. It says, continue as dear military spouse. I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So, okay, I am now with dear military spouse. And let's see. I can remember exactly <laughs> how to go about setting up your store. Okay, so it says, welcome to Zazzle. Here's where you can manage your profile. You'll also be able to view your saved designs like collections and stores right from this page, blase, blase. So here it says my products, collections, following likes, images, stores. So we're going to hit on stores. And here you go, it says stores. I cannot remember if they, you have to be approved, but we're gonna hit open new store. And Zazzle always has um, deals and discounts. So a store is a artistic presence on Zazzle, uses to showcase all of your brand stuff. To open a Zazzle store, you need a valid email address. So we're just gonna hit continue. Um, so they've sent me an email to validate my link. So I'm going to go over to my email address. And I'm just going to hit refresh real quick. And as you can see, that email is filled with all of the stores I've set up during this entire process. <laughs> so this is how you guys know I am setting up brand new accounts because I'm getting emails. I'm having to verify things of that nature. So. It's got the email from Zazzle that says, please verify your email address. Just waiting on that to load. Okay, hello from Zazzle. So I'm going to go ahead and validate my email address. It's going to pop me back in there. All right, so congratulations. You've been verified as your email. I'm going to hit OK. All right, so here it just gives you a rundown what the Zazzle store is about, what your benefits is um, of 
creating a Zazzle store. And of course, it's going to be Dear Military Spouse as the store name. And make sure you guys read all of that information. I'm going to hit I'm not a robot. Oh, I forgot you have to put it all together. So, hope it's not too long. No, it's not. Okay. Yay! And it's available. So, just remember, sometimes there's a lot of stores already on here. So, your name may not be available. So, be able to be a little uh, flexible if you have to add, like, something in there. Like, adding the word shop at the end or etc. So, for right now, I want to make my store private because... I'm not sure, you know, this is exactly what I want to do. So do I even have a tagline? Um, I'm just going to say I stand. I stand with military spouse. I'm just going to put will fill in later. And we want to dress our store up, right? So here it is, our store banner. So it asks us, you know, to add the image. Let's see if it gives us the size of what the image should be. Okay, so nope, it's not telling us the size of the image. So I am going to go over to um, Canva and I'm going to see, we're going to use, is that, that's a mug. Let's do, let's take this mug. And let's change it into a email header. Um, you could probably use an email header. You could probably use a, a YouTube wallpaper. Um, anything that's kind of long like, like a header. So I'm going to resize this to find an email um, header. Because that seems like it would be the same size as a banner on any website, okay? So I am waiting for this to come up but it looks like i can really use this so let's see i'm going to download this again because i'm always moving my files so i don't have it um readily available sue me i'm going to hit the transparent background no i'm not going to do i'm going to leave that white background on there i'm going to download that because i'm always moving my designs um to my external hard drive because i don't want it to slow down my computer which sometimes you guys see um it slows down a lot which is annoying especially when you're doing tutorials but i really want a new new computer again <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and upload that and we're gonna see how that one works out okay let's see if it fits for this project because it did not give us a size but we're gonna click on that one and let's see how that image looks okay so we can move it up or can I? Okay, there we go. Please crop it. And that, that size worked perfectly. So I'm going to hit OK. Now we have our store banner. Um, my website URL is www.themilitaryspouse.com. So tags, the military spouse, military spouse, um, milso. Milspo, um, Army, Navy, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marine. Oh, is that it? No more? <laughs> okay, no more tags. That's enough for OD. Um, but I will probably take Coast Guard out and add Military Wife. I can't add that either. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I can. So my city is Fort Lee. Um, I am in VA. Country. No, United States. Then I'm going to hit submit. So we did our banner. Um, we fill in some of our information. Now we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so it's my settings has been updated. Okay, so that's my settings. Um, I think I can change my picture here. So let's change our store picture. Um, I think that size won't be ideal. So I'm going to go over and find a smaller um, image that I have. Oh, well, I would have to go to. 
I would have to go to my Canva first. So I'm going to go over to my Canva and see if I have a smaller image here. I'm going to use this one for the print sleeve for um, Printify. That little small one I put on the sleeve. So do that. And then I'm just going to download this one again for my, basically my uh, store little logo. And that should be like a perfect size for that because it's super small. Okay, so that's downloading. It's downloaded. Now we're going to go back over to the store. I'm going to upload that. Here we go. And hit open. And then we're gonna wait for that to pop up and click it. So now look how perfect that is. Um, you can change it, move it. So it says media. This is just like different store information. So I guess to upload pictures or anything. Here you can upload your social networks. So we're still in settings. Um, you can put in your Twitter handle. I don't have a Twitter, but I do have an Instagram. What is my Instagram? Oh, dear. Okay. And I, I think I do have a Facebook. But I don't think I have a URL yet. So you can do that. Um... Notifications, oh wait, let me make sure I hit save. So make sure every time you add something, you just hit the submit button so your changes can save. Um, notifications, this is probably just to say, notify me if I get a product or a purchase. Then you have your advanced settings. And this is all back end stuff before we even get you know, to anything, so. Here it is where you can customize your store. You can share um, your latest products sold, feature collections, products. You can change all of this stuff up. Design, migration, do not migrate any of my content onto new products. Always migrate it, design transfers. So this feature allows customers to transfer the design of the origin project to another product available in your store, in your own, in our create your own section. So they can like use it. Um, and I think you'll still get paid marketing if you have your Google analytics analytics. I hate that word because I can never say it right uh, here. And then this is just like your account. I'm thinking this is like the pay stuff. And of course, you can fill that out whenever you have time to do that. Yeah, so um, and the account is just, you know. Order history, account settings, payment methods. I believe they pay out at $100 from what I can remember. And if you want an early payout, it's like a, a charge to PayPal or something like that. So um, here is also where you can take your products and grab the link, like a um, grab a link to your thing and share your products for basically a, a referral fee. And then this is where your earnings would be. Okay, so shows you everything by title product. Of course, there's nothing here because we have not yet made anything. So I'm going to hit the back button. I'm going to hit the back button one more time. One more time. And then I'm going to, we are back on this page where we saw the settings. You got reviews, news, follows, collections, products, home. So we're going to hit the products button. Let's see how long this video is so far with the setup. So about 13 minutes. So I am going to stop this video and then we are going to start fresh on the next video. And we are going to make as many products as we can 
in a 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll continue the video. I do not like these to be long because I want you guys to say, okay, bam, not too much information in one video. We did a setup in this video. You got your logo for your store. You got your store name. You validated your store. Um, while you're taking a break, you can be setting up your payment notifications before you watch the next video or before the next video um, is released, depending on when you're watching this. So that just makes it a little bit easier for you not to have so much stuff to do, um, you know, in one setting. So that's it for this video. And that was just your Zazzle store set. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching how to start a print on demand series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer all of the questions that you guys post if I do have an answer for it. And remember, you can check out my podcast at Coins and Connections Podcast, bit.ly backslash Coins and Connection. It is available on all open podcast uh, platforms. And you can check out our Instagram page at coinsandconnections.com. If you want to check me out on Facebook, it's just at Sinquanta or on Instagram at Sinquanta Cox Smith. All right. So as always, and until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.